Here at MeasureSquare, we take customer service seriously. We incorporate your feedback and recommendations into our product so it's a best-in-class floor estimating software. Check out some of our partners like Starnet, Bonnets, Fuse, Sherwin-Williams, Flooring Liquidators, Right Rug, and more. With the MeasureSquare difference, you'll get cutting-edge features based off of real-world customer feedback, efficient workflows that help you get out more bids per estimator, and customer service that works as hard as you do. Hi there, James. This is Ryan with uh, Measure Square. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions before we go ahead and get started with a short demo? Um, sure, no problem. Awesome. So do you currently do on-site estimations? Um, yeah, exactly. So uh, my job is I go out in the field um, and I go into the customer's home and I measure out the, the rooms for like broad loomer remodels. Gotcha. And what's your estimation process currently like? Um, so right now, I, uh, I do it with pen and paper. I have grid paper, and then I have a little laser with me, and I uh, just kind of sketch it out on my uh, on my pad. Got it. You're a little old school, we can say. Um, yeah, I'm trying trying to fix that. That's why I'm here, I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, that's no. You're definitely in the right place, James. This is software designed to not only increase your accuracy and efficiency with estimations, but also we have a way to get a signed proposal right there on the spot, where you can close out more more deals. Oh wow, that would be great. Yeah, if we could get to where we could sign um, documents on site, that would be awesome. Yeah. So. Uh, I can definitely show you that. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it and get started. So I'm going to create a new project. You're on our, you can see our, my screen okay, James? Yep, I can see your, uh, your tablet, yep. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hit that blue button on the bottom right-hand corner. It's going to pull open a new diagram window where you can go ahead and name your project. I'll go ahead and name this James just for simplicity's sake. We can also add in project info, which is just the customer information. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and hit create on the bottom right there on the window. So I'm going to pull good. open uh, our project labeled James. And from here, I just want to direct your attention quickly to our top left bar there. That's going to be where our simple left to right workflow is, where you'll see different icons. And if you follow it left to right, you can see that home icon where we were at previously. That's where all your projects will lie. Next to that, we have our tools icon where we can go ahead and draw out our rooms, sync our laser measure, which I have. And um, also next to that, we have our product icon where we can manage our product catalog and uh, just easily drag and drop materials into our drawn out rooms. And then next to that, we have our estimate where we can go ahead and get our scene placement, our waste percentages. And then lastly, we have our reports where we can get that signed proposal right there on the spot. So with that said, uh, any questions so far, James, or it seems pretty straightforward? Looking good. I'm uh, eager to see the process there. Now, one thing um, you were saying with your uh, with your laser, is there a specific laser I have to have? Um... Yeah, so we have a few lasers that uh, are compatible with our software, and I can definitely send you that as well as that's, that information is on our website. But the one I'm using right now is a Leica Disto D1, and it's just a two button operation, so it's really simple to use. Nice. Um, yeah, no worries there. I'll go ahead and send you the links to that once we're all done uh, with the demo. So first thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and sync my laser to my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and just tap on tools there, noted by the pencil icon. On the very bottom there, you can see distance meter. When I go ahead and tap on that, you'll see a couple of options for us there. I'm using a Leica Disto, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Disto option on the very top. There we have it right there. If I tap on it, you'll hear a little beeping sound, or you'll see the little check mark next to distance meter. That's how you know that the laser is now synced to my iPad. Now we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out two rooms. First room I'll draw is a rectangular shaped room, is you know the most common shape you'll find on a job site. And then I'll have one with a, a more odd shape, like an angle or uh, a more complicated uh, room shape there. So let me go ahead and do the first one, which is the rectangular shaped room. I'm going to choose room by size. I go ahead and tap on that. You can see here it's going to pull up this window where we can change our uh, labeling there by typing out any name we want, but even better, I have this little handy eye icon where if I go ahead and tap on that, we have a list of room names that I can choose from, saving us a little bit of time there. So if we were doing a bedroom, we can just easily tap on bedroom one, go back, and then just like that, its label is done. Now we can get into our measuring. So all you gotta do is tap on the width field, point and shoot my laser. 
and it'll automatically update that measurement. So it's really easy to get your width and length there by just pointing, shooting your laser, and then tapping uh, done once you're done. And just like that, in less than a few seconds, I drew out my first rectangular shaped room. The next room I'm gonna draw out is gonna be a room with a angle. And you know, not to bore you with too much of the details, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into tools and then go straight to free draw, which is the first option. And you can see here, it'll pull open our draw screen where if I hold my finger down on this screen, you'll see a blue cursor appear. And if I let go, or let my finger up off the screen, I should say, you'll see a purple dot. And that'll represent where you are in the space of the room. To start measuring, all you have to do is swipe in a direction and then point and shoot your laser to update that measurement. So again, I'm just gonna swipe in the direction I wanna measure, point and shoot my laser to get that updated. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and so and in the interest of time, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to draw out the rest of this room shape here. And you can see once I get to that last wall, we actually have a cool uh, autocomplete feature here where if I go ahead and on the last wall, hit done on the top left-hand corner, it'll automatically close out this room for us. So if I go ahead and hit done on the top left, there we go. Our room one is created and it's ready to go. Nice. Now, once we've drawn out our rooms here, it's really simple uh, to put them together by just dragging them uh, with our finger till we see a green line. You can think of it as green means go in this case. Green line means that the walls are lined up. And if you see a green dot, that just means that the corners are lined up. So I'm just going to go ahead, let my finger up off the screen. Now we have these rooms sharing walls together. So pretty good so far. Is it uh, any questions about drawing uh, out no. the rooms? I think that makes sense. Um, I'm eager to see how the, the product will go in. Yeah, perfect. So w once your rooms are drawn out, we can go ahead and just add in our product. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to product and product catalog. And I won't bore you with the details on how to build out the catalog. Just know that once you have this set up, it's a super easy uh, drag and drop method to get them inputted in. So for example, we have our carpet goods here and it's just an easy drag and drop method. And you'll notice that because we have add-ons attached to this carpet, it'll automatically add any details that you want to have attached to that material good. So we have our carpet pad, carpet removal, and hallway there. If you notice right below the uh, name there, uh, we have those items already inputted into the system. So it's really easy to just do one drag and drop. You don't have to constantly go back and forth. I'll go ahead and add another product to this bedroom one here, just to kind of sh uh, show the difference. Uh, different products in different rooms. And once we have okay. our products inputted in, now we can go ahead and go and uh, manipulate our scene placement. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and following our simple left to right, go to estimate here, where I can change the entire layout of my diagram here, where I'll go ahead and tap on estimate. And right now I have it in a horizontal layout. I can change it to a vertical one by just choosing the set vertical layout option. And then just like that, I can pick which items I want to change. I'll change just the brown one, hit done. And just like that, it changed the entire layout for me there. And if I want to move the seams around, I can go ahead and just hold my finger down on the seams to adjust them into place. Very cool. Yeah, so it's really easy there to get your seams placed correctly. And then once you have everything looking good, you can actually view your cut sheet. So to do that, there's a little gray box right below your diagram here with the two arrows. I'm just going to scroll that guy up. And here you can see your full cut sheet. And uh, as part of your cut sheet, you also have a cut margin added in of three inches as a default. So that way you never run short to a job. It says it right there above the B1 cut. You have a three inch cut margin on the length and width. That way you'll never run short to a job. It'll always give you that little bit extra to work with. Nice. And so once you have everything looking good here, to change the cut sheet for a different product, you can go ahead and tap on a different room with a different product. So you can see here, when I tap on bedroom one, you can see the cut sheet for that other item we have. Mm -hmm. And then once everything looks good on the layout, something I like to show the customers to kind of add a little bit of a wow factor is we actually have a 3D view. So if I go to view on the top right-hand corner, go to 3D view, you can see here, it'll generate a three-dimensional uh, representation of the project. And it kind of adds a nice little level of engagement for your customers there to be able to really uh, see their space changed. 
Nice. Very cool. Is there is there a way to put multiple products in that one big space, like an open concept area? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hit down on the top left here. We can actually divide up the floor uh, for this room one here if we wanted to add two different products. And we can do that by just tapping on the room, hitting that little eye icon in the middle there. I can go ahead and go to resize. And then from this resize window, we can find divide floor, which is the fifth option down. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. It's going to bring us to a screen similar to our free draw mode, where if I hold my finger down, a blue cursor will, will appear. And this cursor can actually snap to the wall. So you can see that there. And then once I let my finger up off the screen, I can then drag out that line where I need it to go. And when I let up my finger again, you can see that it'll automatically close out that little section. And if that's the section I want to have be a different product, I can go ahead and hit done on the top left-hand corner there. And it'll automatically separate this room to two different uh, sections, where if I go ahead and go back to my product catalog, I can actually drag and drop another product into that little section there for us. Okay. And can I put like a transition between those or how would I handle linear products? Yeah, so for linear products, if I go ahead and scroll down, we actually have it in the system here. If I go down to our wall base, you can see here we have a linear uh, product uh, for the perimeter of the room. So if I go ahead and add some wall base, you can see it's around the perimeter. If I zoom in a little bit, you should be able to see that green dotted line. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna just represent the baseboard. And it'll give you the linear feet right there on the legend on the left. And then if you want to add, let's say, some transition product on the division that you made in that open room too, I can go ahead and scroll up. We actually have a metal Z bar, where if I go ahead and just drag that over, I can get that on the line, let my finger up, off the screen and just like that we've added our transition piece to that little division line there and it'll show up right on the left there of our project okay. um if i needed to install products halfway into a doorway um do you guys do doors or does it just do the rooms like what we're seeing here no it does do doors and so if i go back a step i can go ahead and add some room details i'm gonna go ahead and go to tools we have our doors option actually down on the fifth uh, the fifth line there. If I tap on that, it'll pull open a generalized list of doors where I can go ahead and just drag and drop them into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a common door shape here, drag it in, snap it to the wall, slide it where it needs to be, let my finger up off the screen. And just like that, it's added the door into the project. And if I zoom in here, you'll notice our software will not only add the product halfway through the door, but it also notes uh, that the baseboard won't go through the door. So it's going to eliminate that little section of baseboard for you so you won't overorder on those baseboards. Nice. That's a cool feature. I like that. Yeah, and that's that's our, uh, that's our uh, MO there. We just want to make things a lot easier and really quick to use to make sure you increase that efficiency there for your projects. So with that, we've kind of completed a little bit of a project. Was there anything else you wanted to see in the room details? Um, no, I think for the room stuff, that makes sense. I guess at this point, um, if you could show me, you said there was a way to sign um, a quotation or something. Um, that would be great if I could see what that looks like. Awesome. Let's jump into it. So next to estimate, there's our report icon, where if I go ahead and tap on that, you'll see a very, uh, various lines of options. I'm going to choose forms, which is the second one down, and it'll pull open our proposal sheet, where it'll have your company logo and your tagline, as well as the customer information. And then if I scroll down here, you can see we have a high level overview of each item that we've used. And you can also edit the pricing in this view here by tapping on that uh, number. You also, if we scroll down, have an instruction box where we can leave uh, messages or notes for the installers or whatever you want to leave there. You can also save instructions. That way you don't have to constantly type over the same one. You can just kind of quickly hit that little I button and choose from the list. You can check, make sure you uh, double check your grand total there. And the really cool feature here on the bottom, you have that gray box where if I tap on it, you can get a signature right there on the spot. So if I'm a customer, I can go ahead and just sign off, hit save. And then just like that, I've made the sale. I can even go ahead and pull open a hard copy. If I have, let's say, a Bluetooth printer on site, I can print it out, hand it to them, or we can go ahead and if you have your email set up on your iPad, you can just sh shoot them a quick email. 
Awesome. That looks great. Um, cool. So, uh, what are our what are our next steps? How do I how do I get started here? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, kind of go over uh, a free trial there. If you haven't started a free trial already, I'd be more than happy to send you some uh, a link to get started. All you have to do is go to the Apple Store, or if you're on Android, go to the Google Play Store, search up Measure Square Mobile, download the app, and then uh, create an account, and you'll be able to have a 14-day trial right there on the spot. You also have access to our support team. So that means uh, if you have any questions, or even if you're working on a project, you can actually send us a file of that project, and we would be more than happy to help you out. And actually, if I go ahead and show you real quick something in the software that might be your best friend while you're starting on our free trial, we actually have this share icon next to reports, where if you're working on a project, you could even send that project straight to our support team by hitting that share project file. And if you have your email set up on, your iPad, you can just go ahead and type in support at measuresquare.com right there. I have it saved in already. And then you can just shoot them out an email on any questions you might have about getting on board on the software. All right, awesome. That looks great. I really like uh, how easy it was to draw the rooms and that signed quote um, should help us out quite a bit. Uh, thanks very much for your time today, Ryan. I appreciate it. Thank you, James. Appreciate your time, and we'll be in touch. All right. Have a good one. Bottom line is Measure Square estimating software lowers your costs, automates processes, gives you higher accuracy rates, helps improve sales, lower mishaps, and industry-leading implementation time. Thanks for watching, and sign up for your free trial today.